Okay, so if you don't have space in your fridge for your fermenter keg, um, then what you can do is transfer over a smaller keg and store that in the fridge. So we've got our, our carbonated beer here ready to go. Uh, we've got our regulator. We've got a liquid to liquid connection from one keg to the other. And then here we have our outlet for this, which will allow gas out with back pressure on it and stop flowing once the ball floats. First thing we need to do is set the release pressure of our spunding valve. So attach it to a regulator. Turn the regulator pressure up until gas starts releasing from the spunding valve and then turn the spunding valve slightly down until flow stops. That will equalize the pressure between the regulator and the gauge on the spunding valve. Once we have that pressure set, we need to remove the gauge, which will get damaged by liquid going through it, and just keep the adjustable valve. So we take off the valve, and we can have the choice of attaching that directly to a gas disconnect, um, and then putting that on the keg. That will allow liquid to release out through the top of it. What we can do is incorporate a flow stopper between the gas disconnect and the valve, and that will mean that when liquid comes out through the gas valve, the ball will float, which will stop flow. After sanitizing, we want to flush our small empty keg out with CO2 and then leave it pressurized at the same pressure as our large keg, in this case, 10 PSI. After that, transfer the regulator to your large full keg. Attach your liquid to liquid beer line connection from the liquid out of your full keg and then attach the flow stopper and spunding valve to the gas outlet of the small keg. Once that's done, hook up the liquid posts. You should hear gas start to escape from the spunding valve. If not, turn down the release pressure slightly so that it does. It's as simple as that. Grab yourself a beer, wait for a minute or two. If your keg was chilled beforehand, there should be no foaming and as soon as the keg is full, flow will stop automatically.